Let's look at the equalizer in DSP settings. When you're playing the song, you can enable the equalizer by going to Controls, Equalizer. You'll notice that the equalizer is now checked. If you go to DSP effects, it brings up this window where you can choose the equalizer. You have various presets for your equalizer such as bass boost, bass reducer, dance, club, typical equalizer presets, loudness, live, R&B, rock. You can also manually adjust the equalizer by increasing the amplification in all the bands for the equalizer. You can choose a 10 band or a 15 band, which gives you even more control. You can change the balance for the audio right and left, reset the equalizer, and under DSP plugins, you can choose mono, skip silence, stereo enhancer, and it brings up controls for how much you want to increase. If you want a high stereo enhancer. So you can check all of these that you want tempo control, for example, and you can adjust the speed, pitch, and sample rate. If we make adjustments to our equalizer, for example, here, I'm just changing this. We can save the preset And I'll call it my preset. It will save as an SDE file. And now you have your preset saved. If you notice here, we see a button that says import Winamp. This will allow us to add DSP plugins. If we open our browser and search for Winamp plugins, We can go to this website, Winamp Heritage, and we can see a list of plugins. I'll go to DSP effects, and we can see all the DSP plugins. I'm going to get the real Bass Exciter, and I'll click download plugin. It's asking us to right click and save as. So I'll do that and save as this exe. We hit save. And now we can install this plugin. We'll go through the installation process and hit install. And finished. Now, we click this button and go to our programs files under Winamp, plugins, and we see the DLL file. We click it, we now have the plugin installed in our music beat. And now we can adjust our Real Bass Exciter plugin, increase the threshold frequency, harmonic frequency, and so forth. We can save the configuration, load configuration, and view information about this plugin. So you can see it's really easy to add DSP plugins to MusicBee. And that is the equalizer and DSP effects for MusicBee.